how you it began with an historic handshake. The father of slain teenager Yusef Hawkins met with the ringleader of the group that attacked him in Bensonhurst. It was a private meeting. Our camera was allowed to view the greeting and then wait outside. The two spent one hour behind closed doors discussing the tragic episode of August 23, 1989. And during the meeting, Keith Mandela, who spent eight years in jail for the 16-year-old's death, offered an apology. It was to let uh, Moses Stewart know and to the rest of the Hawkins family to know that my sincere sorrow for what happened. What did you say to them first? What did you say to Moses first? I, I'd rather not speak about that. Thank you. Did you apologize? Yes, I did. How do you feel now after this meeting? This is an hour meeting. I feel, I feel very good about it. While Hawkins' father, Moses Stewart, was overwhelmed by the meeting, he described it as cordial. The things that he said were very personal things very hurtful things I imagine to him and to myself so right now you know it's, it's just a process again of me thinking these things over letting God filter in with what was said and letting things take its course the meeting happened after New York One interviewed Mondello over the weekend and aired his apology to the family. Both sides took several days to discuss a time and a place, and on Thursday it was agreed that the most suitable location would be New York One studio. Mondello's mother, Susan, his attorney, Peter Antioco, and his therapist accompanied him, and the Reverend Al Sharpton joined Stewart. They'd been close friends since the incident. Eight men were jailed after the shooting. When a gang of white men looking to beat up a group of Hispanic and black men encountered the wrong group, including Hawkins. Teenager Joseph Fama shot Hawkins twice, fatally. On Thursday, his father was more candid about the meeting when he appeared on Inside City Hall a short time later. One thing I said to Mr. Mandela in the room that I was here now is that our deeds will save and do a lot of our talking for us. It's brought about peace to myself. And I can only hope and pray that it brings, uh, more importantly, peace to Mr. Stewart and the Hawkins family.